Do you find chasing wild weather fun, scary, or both? Do I find chasing wild weather fun, scary, or both? Definitely both. I do it because I love it, so I find it fun. But at the same time, they can be very dangerous. So yeah, it can be quite scary, but I try to do these dangerous things in as safe a way as possible. So I take lots of precautions, I've got lots of safety equipment, and I learn a lot about the storms, and that helps to keep me safe. What is the scariest wild weather you've chased? The scariest wild weather I've chased was probably Hurricane Katrina. And uh, that was the strongest hurricane that I've ever been in. It was incredible. The wind was so strong, I could barely even stand up. But the, the wildest tornado I've ever witnessed was one in Oklahoma a few years ago, and it was 4.3 kilometers wide. Massive tornado. The largest anyone has ever seen. It's, it's the record for the largest tornado. But I've seen over 100 of them. Have I ever been hurt chasing wild weather? Well. No, uh, I try to be very safe. There have been times when uh, sometimes our windows get smashed by hail. One time I had some farm equipment hit the truck that was pushed over by a tornado. Yeah, I, I, I know, I watched that video. You've seen that video? Pretty scary stuff. But never once, <laughs> touch wood, never once have I been hurt. I want to keep it that way. What should I do if a tornado is close? Okay, so. What should you do if a tornado is close? If there's a tornado warning issued for where you are, the first thing you should do is go to the basement and hide down there. Now, if you don't have a basement... Which we do, but we do have a basement. Okay, good. But if you have friends that don't have a basement, you can tell them to go into the bathroom and hide in the bathtub. That's a pretty good second, second best. What is your favorite kind of my favorite kind of wild weather, wow. It's hard to say, I love them all so much. I love photographing lightning, I love going into hurricanes, I love chasing tornadoes. I think the more rare it is, the more interested I am in it. I one time photographed lightning inside a volcanic eruption, which was amazing. Wow. That's very, very rare, yeah. So, anything that's strange. Yeah, this is incredible. that <laughs> the funniest thing, we were in Colorado one time, chasing a tornado, it was coming towards us, and then we had baseball sized hail coming down from the north. So we had to get out of there, we had to escape. So I'm on this dirt road, and suddenly there's a whole herd of cows in the road, and they would not leave. They refused to get out of my way. And I'm honking the horn, I'm rolling down the window, and I'm yelling at them, and it's like, come on guys, move. And they would not move. Luckily, we made it out in time. So we were safe and the cows were safe, but it was pretty funny. How did you get into wild weather? I became interested in chasing wild weather. Started when I was a kid. I was always interested in uh, storms when the power would go out. I loved the thunder and lightning. I thought that was really, really great. But then as I got older, I got an interest in photography and travel and adventure. So I was able to take that early interest as a kid, my interest in science and nature, and combine it with photography and travel, and that's how I sort of became a storm chaser. What do you do the storm you chase and chase you? <laughs> well, sometimes the storm that I chase does turn and chase me. That's when you really have to pay attention. And what we have to do sometimes is think two steps ahead of the storm. Okay, I'm driving east, but what if the storm moves and I gotta drive south? Where's my next road? So we're always trying to navigate ahead of the storm, just in case it turns on us. Which has happened many times. There's lots of times when I've had to turn around and get out of the way. Thank you so much. Here. Visit George's website, stormchaser.ca. Thank you for watching my first video. Click subscribe so you'll know when I post more videos. You can also find me on Facebook and Twitter at CuriousKidProf. Until next time, keep being curious.